she could not bear children. But Sayyidina Zakaria was making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his entire lifetime until he reached, as the Quran precisely describes, his hair turned gray or mostly gray. During all of this time, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in Surah Maryam, For instance, Dawood alayhi salam is somewhat Sulaiman alayhi salam. And 
here is Zechariah alayhi salam. He wants a righteous child, not for just kingdom. No, it is to lead mankind towards the righteous path. And he says, My wife is barren. She did not bear, nor can she bear children. Another obstacle, according to man's calculations, if you tell a scientist or a physician, they'll say it's impossible, she's barren, whatever the complications may be. But he knows that there is no such thing as impossible to a boss. And in this, there's another lesson. Brothers and sisters, our faith is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has no impossible, no such thing called difficult. Allah, we believe that firmly, and we see that in one lesson after another in these beautiful prophetic stories. <laughs> The gifter, the giver. And what have? Hiba is gift. Hiba to Rahman, the gift of Rahman. Hab is asking Allah, please gift me, give me, provide me from you. He's not asking me from anyone else. Min ladunka waliya, an offspring who will take from me, يَلِثُنِي He will inherit me, وَيَلِثُ مِنْ آلِ يَعْقُوبُ And he will inherit from me, the progeny of Ya'qub, or the family of Ya'qub. وَجَعَلُهُ مِنْ لَدُنْكَ وَلِيَّ فَهَمْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ وَلِيَّ يَلِثُنِي وَيَلِثُ مِنْ آلِ يَعْقُوبُ Very quick clarification. Some misled Muslims We'll give you a tafsir of this as that he wanted his child to inherit his wealth. And from there, some strange derivations of tafsir will come out. Let me clarify to you that as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us from the words of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the angel, the prophets, do not <coughs> give any wealth for others to inherit from them. Their heirs inherit, they have no estates for heirs to have except their knowledge, their end. Their knowledge is what the heirs inherit. They do not give dirhams or dinars for those after them. And this murata is not yarituni as in wealth, is yarituni fi nubu'a wal ilm wal salah. To inherit me in prophecy as in being a prophet and knowledge, righteous knowledge and righteousness. This is the inheritance that Sayyidina Zakariya salam, is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story beautifully in many parts of the Quran in Surah Al Anbiya.
gray hair, did not give up. And Allah says in the Quran, so we see the story after its completion. We answered his call from the first time. But we know that he did not have a child until he was older. There is wisdom in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ultimate wisdom to when things should happen. Understand that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does what he chooses. When he chooses. But we have to do our part by calling on our Lord like the prophets did. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues and says, and we gave him wahabna. Again, the word is hiba, wahabna. We gifted him, we gave him, provided him with zakat, with yahya. The English translation is John. Allahumma salli wa sallim 
وبارك على نبينا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه ومن استنى بسنته وعنا معهم برحمتك وفضلك ومنه وجودك يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أرحم الراحمين My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions to us in the Holy Quran, the book if we hold on to and recite and implement and have sincerity when we do so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us dunya and that. As Prophet 
heart and comes to us. I've said, leniency and kindness and softness isn't in anything except it makes it more beautiful. And when it's extracted from something or is missing, it makes it more ugly. Hanan, to be a good leader, you must have a very big and soft heart. Listen carefully to the Quran. Wazakah and purity. Wala, we must be pure if we want to be leaders. Pure with Allah, pure on the inside. We see others sinning and we think and hope that they're doing something else. Not follow other people's shortcomings. Purity on the inside, only think goodness, only speak kindly, treat others with humility. Purity. Was a cat, what can a taqiyya, and he was a taqwa, and we mentioned taqwa in many khutab, and we will in the future. Wabakram bi day, and he was babak the in kind to his parents. Brothers and sisters, for the sake of time, we will conclude today's khutbah, but brothers and sisters, if we look in Surah Maryam, one or two ayat will describe to you many attributes of good leaders. And if we want our children to grow to be such great leaders, we must instill in them these great qualities, which was in Sayyidina Yahya alayhi salam and many great prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us righteous offspring. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala make us better and more righteous parents. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Quran the dearest book to our hearts. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala make us love it, recite it. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala help us memorize it, implement it with sincerity. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala put the love of the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and His teachings in our hearts and families and children. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and our community from all fitan. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to His path. May He subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to His path.